Well, today, before we do cool stuff, winter showed up. Gotta clean some snow. Stick around. Okay, so I've got my short on, and we're gonna bring the snowblower in. We're gonna talk a little bit about some stuff that you need to really think about what are you for you to live up here in the cold. So let's get this inside. Let's get her shut up. Okay. So now that my chores done, I'll show you. Look at that. I absolutely love snow blowing. This part has nothing to do with the other part of the video today. But a couple things you're gonna want to do if you live up here. One, dress for the occasion. It's five. Look, I'm I'm ready to go. Uh you don't want to work your machine? You know? This is the first time I've used it this year, and it's January. Well actually, <laughs> yes, this year, 24. This season, this winter. Um, a few other things that we're gonna you're gonna want. Heated hand grips. No, I wore gloves, but got the old switch right here. And three stages. And the biggest one you can get, the biggest one you can afford, or if you have family, make sure that you get one that they can use if you're not gonna be around. Hey, check that out. So, anyway, same things as always. Check the fuel, check the oil, check the operation of things. Make sure you check your shear pins and you're ready to roll. But we finally, winter finally showed up and gave us some snow where I could snow blow. And I absolutely love it. You might say, why? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, it's, uh, it's honestly, it's quiet. And uh, use that sense of accomplishment. It looks like I missed a spot right there, but that's going to be fine. Because I'll have to clean up a little bit more because it's, I'll be using the shovel to clean up some of this, but what a beautiful day. It's supposed to be almost 20 today. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna do the cool stuff, I promise. All right, kids. We, yep, you guessed it. We're gonna, probably gonna harbor freight. Yep, but different reason. We'll tell you about it when we get back. Uh, we're gonna take you around. There's a few things we're gonna look at directly. Um, for some, uh, for a great, great reason. Um, anyway, we're not gonna do the drive there and stuff and you know, anyway. Um, I think it actually got up to uh, 15 now, which is pretty cool. So we'll see you when we get there and uh, we'll take you around the place again and stuff. We've arrived, somebody got distracted and we had to wait for whatever was going on over here to quit before we could do this. It's bright. Yeah. <laughs> when the sun's out, it does reflect off the snow. And yeah. Anyway, we're going to go in and do the thing. All right, we're here. We don't own the music. Um, but the song is awesome. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I probably have to pay for it. It's just me. The coolest thing happened when we were here. Uh, one of the guys, apparently they know me by name. Here. It's my fault that they know me by name. Because let's face it, I, I just take my paycheck and I just flip it off. But someone called here wanting to buy me something. <laughs> Believe that? That's crazy. <laughs> However, not super crazy. We might need a lathe someday. Or a blast? Blast camera? Should we sandblast some stuff? That might not be a bad idea. Sandblast her. Anyway. <laughs> what did I do? So 
so yeah uh so we're gonna kind of we're here today because our super awesome friend bill cameron uh gave us a wonderful gift um to find some tools or a tool for the shop or something and uh i'll tell you what he was completely unexpected had no clue what was happening and just came to me in an email but he called here to our local harbor freight and asked if he could buy me something over the phone uh bill you are <laughs> you're super awesome thank you so much thank you yeah and uh we are here to uh peruse we're gonna purge this place i think what we might do is we might just get a uh a big cart and just buy a whole bunch of dollar items okay yeah, like this, song. this song is the best and we're gonna turn it off so i don't have to claim that it's not ours i don't own the music I think we're gonna go with this one. We just gotta get the pickup and uh, wait a little bit. So, pretty cool. We're not gonna go with that. Well, unless the toolbox is going sale first. We'll see. All right, uh, pretty cool uh, options we have for air compressors. But we'll see what uh, they actually uh, gave us some good advice on the one we were looking at and they, they suggested uh, one of the one of the guys has the one that we're leaning towards now and he said that he's having any issues with it and absolutely loves it so probably gonna go with a little bit more expensive one but that's just fine and uh it was a little bit weird when when uh <laughs> his name's devin he goes hey come here so i walk over there and he's like someone called for you i'm like what <laughs> that was pretty cool but um bill uh, thank you so much for for the gift. It was it's awesome. We haven't. We're gonna make sure that it goes to the best option for us. Uh, could be a giant toolbox. We don't. <laughs> anyway, so now we're gonna go home, and we are going to finally do something in the garage. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. All right. Peyton's not doing anything. Hey, I'm getting ready. No, yeah, you're getting ready. For you, not for the, not for the good of the group. She's not helping you guys at all. <laughs> I know it looks weird why I took my jacket off, only to put it back on. Well, my sleeves, and I didn't want to know. So today, first, I also I wanted to say again to Bill for the fourteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, fifteenth time. Thank you. Um, it the fact that you. That you did that um we uh, there's no way we can really say thank you enough um and get the the i'll read you the the comment he said or I'll give you the idea and I, when i said thank you to him he said that uh are very welcome and that he was happy to do it because we bring basically so much laughter and fun to what we're doing so um i if you guys feel that way, that's that's awesome, Bill. I mean, that's it's wonderful that you get, that you think that uh, of whatever whatever it is this is. Um, so Peyton is going to do some welding today. Um, she's going to try out the two welders, like I said she was going to. Now I know this is kind of a repeater of the other one, but you know what? Hey, it's, it's what it is. We could pound dents. Sure, we could. You want us to pound dents? I don't want pound dents yet. Now, the reason why I'm gonna have her try the welders is because the next thing we're working on is plan B. There's some stuff we gotta do so we can do other stuff. Does that make sense? We have to do some things. Peyton needs to help me get this body down on the frame so we can finally actually start doing things on it. And I mean, that's, you know, bracing up the front, getting dents pounded out, get sheet metal ordered, Go talk to uh, Boyer Mechanical about getting some, you know, materials so we can make the top and, you know, chop this turd. We've got a lot of stuff coming up and she's got to be ready to go with these uh, um, welders so she can pick her, kind of her favorite. And then, uh, you know, then we can, so she's comfortable, I'm comfortable with it and then we can, you know, kind of get after it. So, I'm going to stop playing with that because She's gonna use my helmet. Dang! She put hers on. I wanted to. 
All right, Peyton had some test runs with the uh, the yes welder. Uh, now uh, she's going to do she's going to use my helmet because why not? <laughs> this will be the last of them using my helmet. They'll have to save their pennies. <laughs> so Peyton's going to do some spots like like Melissa did, and then she's going to do some uh, beads. But we has got it on this one. So she can kind of set up how she wants. And then I'm gonna put this so you guys so you guys can see it. Oh, one other thing. Oh my god. No, I know what Big red. So I'm set. So I'm going to be welding on an eighth inch type metal. Well, not tight, but yeah, you get the gist. Um with a what was the welding wire? Oh, point zero three zero. So point three zero three zero. No. Okay, totally off. It's fine. Um. What we what equipment are you using? I'm gonna use my dad's helmet. A light, maybe, if I need it. Um, the yes welder. So I'm gonna be using a flux. Uh, 135 yes welder for an eighth inch um, metal and I'm going to be using my dad's helmet. I don't know how it's going to work but it's probably going to be really awesome. And then I'm going to use my old gloves because for my gloves that I got new they're just a little too thick and I, and I can't really squeeze this and I'm like what do I do? So let's get to it. Already, this is a good sign. It's really bright in here. So I'm gonna just be like, I'm gonna try some uh, continuous beads, but just spot welding first. So, ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, that was really cool. Like it just, it's clear in here. Like I can see my hand. I can see the color of the big red. And it's like daylight. It's like looking through wax, but clear. It's really cool. And then when I weld, it goes dark, but I can still see. It's really cool. Like, I can see where I'm going, and it's really cool, because with my other helmet, I did try it first. I, actually on here, okay, it's not too hot, I went off the edge, because I couldn't see that well, but this thing, I could see really well. So Peyton, what do you think of that welder? This welder. Now I know what mom's saying. I have to like get my hand in there because it's gonna slide off. I really like that welder. Okay, what do you like about it? I kind of like how it's a wider hole in there mm -hmm. instead of it being like instead of it being a tinier, if you can see, tinier hole. Because, I mean, I get this, but this is for finer details, I'm guessing. Like, in my opinion, it would be, like, for littler cracks. And then, this one is for, like, major welding. Like, you need to get somewhere big. It's just, it's just my thing. But, I did like it. It's really cool. You ready to compare it against the other one? Yeah. Okay. I am now using um, a titanium uh, Harbor Freight Flux 125 welder. 
How I know that is because all I did, I asked my dad, it's just less, it's just 10 less than the S welder on the 135. Yeah, I did math really quick. And I'm still going to use his um, helmet, it is gloves, everything's the same, but this welder. Kind of lighty on your head. Ready? Mm -hmm. And then I gotta clean it, don't I? I always forget on these that I always have to clean this one. But the other one you didn't really have to clean. Hey, I'll try to cook kidney beef. Go all the way then. I noticed, you see these things in there? That welder didn't do that. And it smelled like potatoes. I don't know why. It smelled like potatoes. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them head to head. We're gonna get a fresh piece of metal for Peyton. We're gonna put a fresh piece of metal. She's gonna use one and then immediately use the other and then she's gonna give you her thoughts. All right, so Peyton's just going to use these edges right here. Which ones are going to be here? Um, this one's going to be there. Okay, so the flux or titanium flux 125 from Harbor Freight, and then the S welder 135 flux will be right here. So she's going to start there. We already have this one ready, and then we're going to switch. We're not going to show you. She's going to do it. I'm going to switch them, and then we're going to go. There's that one. That was the uh, Harbor Freight Titanium 125? Yep. You have to wait for this one to come on. Yep. Trying to get ready. All right, the, the titanium's turned off and the yes welder is ready to go. Okay. And move this kind of right away. There we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to clean them up and then Peyton's going to tell you what she thinks. Okay, my, my likes and dislikes on both of these were, um, one, this one, the titanium, I do like the feel of this and I like how you can tell that there is a trigger on this one but my dislike on that one is the wider um, not noticeable wire because you can't really see it when you're like pointed down if you're going like this you can't really see it and I thought you liked that at first yeah I did but then when I used this one I noticed I could see it better. So it didn't really work out with that one because I was like, I can't see it. Um, that one I do like the um, digital display of how many amps. This one doesn't have it. You like the, you like the yes. S welders display better and yes. the, the way it adjusts? Yes. Okay, versus the titanium, all right. Yes. And what else? I said... Well, you said one was messier. Yeah, one was messier, which was the S-Welder. It made more, what, splatter? Yeah, it made more splatter right here. You can kind of see if you would take it down. <laughs> you can hear it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
I like the handle on the S Wilder. Mm -hmm. Um, that one is quieter. Which one? The Yes Wilder. Okay. The titanium one, if you're like welding and they're like, stop, we have an emergency, you know, like somebody got hurt, then you're just like kind of in the zone and you're just like, okay, I gotta do this. And you're not paying attention. So well, the room is much louder, harder yes, here? Yes. Okay. Um, I do like how, well, I don't really like how it says just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H on here because I don't know what that means. Yeah, and that actually is the amps on that one. If you didn't know, you wouldn't know that's the amps. Yeah, I would, I would have no clue. Mm -hmm. And then the numbers, I mean, I would guess that's for the wire. Well, it says. That's the heat. Yeah. Okay. It's heat and wire speed. <laughs> that is confusing. I yep. mean, I get the wire because it says wire there, mm -hmm. but the amps, mm -hmm. no clue what that is. Yep. Well, actually, I'm sorry. The, the amps on the bottom, the numbers on the bottom are the amps. Okay. But, but it's eight, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. And versus ABC. a number. And then the yeah. wire speed is the A, B, C, D, E. It's yep. kind of weird. I don't like that. Okay. Um... Did I already say that I like the feel of this? Yes. Okay. Did you cover all the likes and dislikes? I think I did. Okay, one sec. Okay, kids, the verdict's in. What do you got, Peyton? Um, so the, um, my pick between the titanium flux core, uh, 125 and the yes welder flux, uh, 135 is, um, drum roll, please. The imagination. titanium one because um it, it fits you can see the difference like i mean yes it fits but that's kind of in the way i don't want that to be you know in the way either and look you don't when you're walking yes you bumped into that but look you're not going to go past that you can possibly break that and you're just gonna skin by it, you're you're gonna like bonk into it. What's up with that? And I just this feel of this one is I don't know how to say it. It's just better. Because the trigger, like I said, that one you know it's a trigger. I thought I was squeezing the um I thought I was squeezing the plastic on here. Like, I was right here, because I couldn't feel it with the bulky gloves. But then when I had these on, I could feel it. So if you, it just, for me, uh, the glove-wise, I couldn't tell with my new gloves. I, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's okay. It's just okay, so to recap, you like the one, the Harbor Freight Flux Core 125 because the tip was better. Mm -hmm because you could see better. Mm -hmm. You like the trigger position and feel better because you knew it was the trigger where yes. the other one you thought was just plastic. the plastic yes. because it is tucked in there a little yes. bit. Um, you just like the way it felt in your hand and how smooth you were able to use it. Whereas with, I suppose, being that you said you couldn't see, yes. you weren't, you didn't feel as smooth. Yes, and I was <laughs> like, where's the wire? Did it go back in or where is it? And then like, I would sit there you could like i did it off camera it was like you could see i was going back because i couldn't see it and he actually you could see it's longer now because i couldn't see it and when i was welding i would go like this and i would just slowly like staircase up because the wire i was like where is it Okay, so you like the Harbor Freight one because it felt better. Yes. And you were able to use it more easily. Yes. Okay. Basically. All right. Everybody I'm got sorry, that? I'm sorry if I repeated it that was what's, five million times. That's what's known as a ship story. One, you just got to, you're along for the ride. All right, yes. hold on a minute. <laughs> All right, so in the epic battle of the Titanium 125 versus the Yes Welder 135, Peyton has chosen the titanium. Now, you know, I chose the S-Welder. Um, 
Everybody has chosen my helmet. Uh, <laughs> no one else is allowed to use it after yes. today. If anybody wants a to donate uh, a true color helmet to Peyton, um, would, feel free. I would gladly take it. But I think she should earn it. Chores. That's me. Anyway, so now we picked our our uh, weapons of choice, as it as it were. So the next thing now that we have this ready, or we've decided what's going down on the street. These two. We're going to show you what is on tap next. Hey, what? Stop moving. <laughs> I need a big rent. <laughs> All right, so we're by plan B. <laughs> now, you guys sick of looking at the... Some all green. Yeah, anyway. So, I'm going to show you what's next. Hold on. She's actually going to do some work, maybe, around here. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, just keep looking at her, not doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Where's the hammer? I'll just... Hammer with these. Don't you dare hammer with my <laughs> shears. No. Cut the car in half. Hey, get out of my shears. She has her own shop shears yet, grabs mine. <laughs> well, they're right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can see we've got some three quarter by three quarter tubing. Right there. We're actually going to use it as some bracing. We're going to. I can't see. like a bar like like this like what <laughs> you know what we're doing <laughs> all right yes we're gonna use a square tube like a bar so like it already is <laughs> Visualize it. Like the brace that we uh, showed brace. with the hand signals over there. <laughs> really? It's like she's never been out here before. <laughs> yes, they're gonna. We're gonna put them up here. We're gonna weld <laughs> it in. Um, probably up as high as we can, but uh, probably right up here, and then we're gonna bring it down to right about here. And we're hoping that that will push this forward so we can get this to stay put. So, and then before we do that though, Peyton's gonna have to help me finish getting this body down. Cause we've got, you know, we've got this one good and we've got this one pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty those two. Here, it's those two over there that's the problem. Yeah, I think I'm pretty comfy over here right now. Well, why don't you put a carburetor on it then? I don't know how. Well, you don't have a carburetor either. <laughs> so that's what we got going on. We still have to get that metal out right there, around here. We gotta figure out that steering column. We gotta chop this turd. See, we got the marks. Why do you wanna chop it again? What? Why do you wanna chop it? Um anybody feel like they need to want to answer that? Put it down in the comments. <laughs> right down in the thing. Okay? Cool. This is serious business. <laughs> you know, I don't think she has any idea what we're doing. No. I was too busy today, I find. Bet you didn't even remember that we welded today. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Mm. Anyway, that's what we got coming up for plan B. The welders have been chosen. My helmet is now off limits to everybody except for me. Um, Peyton should earn her own helmet. However, we do take donations. Um, also, Big Red. Yummy. In case Big Red wants to send us Big Red, because we can use some Big Red shop back. <laughs> Oh, I also want to say that today I got to do something super awesome. Um, I got to, uh, as you know, I'm getting close to retirement. I'm actually eligible uh, 25 days from today. Whatever the day is that you're watching this, it's not 25 from this time. It's from the day that we made this, if that helps you. I'm not telling you the date, but it's, it's January 2024. 
But anyway. I don't even know. Anyway. Um, I got to do something that I was very honored to do. And uh, I got to actually, I, I was able to drill with my unit uh, that I've been away from for a little while. They have, they have me attached out being the, they're loaning me to some, to another unit. Well, I got to drill with my uh, ACO Drifter Brothers. Um, absolutely fantastic that I got to do that again. Um, there was lots of uh, smiles and hugs and all that cool stuff with the old guys that have been around. Those new guys, nope, they just stayed away from me and that was smart because I don't know who they are. Um, they probably didn't even give you hugs, did they? How could they hug me if they weren't by me? <laughs> anyway, I don't know why she's saying anything. <laughs> Got to see them today. Um, it is not my last drill, but it was my last drill uh, at the armory where I started my career in 1993. I had my first drill in uh, 1993, uh, November of 93. It was my first, my first one at the armory, and now January of 2024, I had my last one at the armory here in Bemidji. And um, a long time. I was absolutely happy to do it. Um, and thank you to my, my readiness NCO, Seth, who uh, let me, oh, and then uh, first argument, uh, you know, you approve my, my split. Uh, but the coolest thing I got to do today was, um, you've seen the videos, my good, uh, my, one of my favorite people, Lyle, uh, our first sergeant, he's going to be retiring very, very soon. And uh, the unit asked me to present him with, uh, we usually give our retirees a, a small unit guide on it's the flag that represents who we are um, he explained it to me i got to give that to i got to present that to in front of the company uh it was such an honor to do that the fact that they even thought about me doing that um yes i know i shaved but we got till march now <laughs> no beard or no shave january through march Ooh. No it's more gonna be face. it's gonna be woolly yeah <laughs> i know i don't look 48 i'll tell you that for free <laughs> You don't. I feel 63. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for always putting up with whatever we're doing. And I don't know what this is. It's a 45 minute end of the video. <laughs> it takes like three Cause, minutes. Yeah, because we, someone will stop talking. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever stop talking. <laughs> that. No truer words have ever been spoken. <laughs> ever. It is stressful to go places because it's a barrage of words. Yo, what up? Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> anyway, no. I'm just sitting here. Lyle, Literally. love you to death. Glad I got to serve with you the last 10 years. Um, and uh, Drifters, thank you so much for letting me do that. That was just so uh, fantastic. Mike, that was great. I, I'm glad you handed that off to me. Um, anyway. We will be working on, we'll actually be doing something now that someone has decided that maybe they feel like coming into the shop. We did something. On, on the cars, on the speed shop part of the shop part. Well, we could do speed. something Yeah, you got a carburetor and money? <laughs> no. Okay then. <laughs> All right, so keep on doing the thing with stuff and uh, peace out.